Hello, everyone, and welcome to Mountain Lake Journal. I'm Tom Halley. This week, some much needed funding is on the way to help combat the deadly opioid crisis. With the opioid epidemic worsening. In 2015, more people died of overdoses than any year on record. That's the most recent year they have. U.S. Senator Chuck Schumer came to Plattsburgh this past week to tout the $3 billion just approved by Congress to tackle the opioid crisis. And I probably meet people just about every day who have a close relative, family member, close friend who has suffered from this scourge. So this year we got $3 billion finally uh, for funding opioid treatment Schumer says regions like the North Country should get millions to help communities expand treatment for addicts. There's a lot more money for treatment. We are desperately short of treatment. And treatment works. And the shortage of treatment is, is just terrible. And so uh, part of our legislation would provide more money for treatment to the state and to localities, local treatment centers. The funding would also pay for new technology that can help Border Patrol agents and police intercept fentanyl, an opioid being smuggled in from China and Mexico that's being added to a lot of the heroin being sold in the North Country, making it 50 to 100 times more potent and more deadly. Sometimes you can die from touching it, and oftentimes the first use can cause death or very severe addiction. The money will supply Border Patrol agents and police with new high-tech devices called mass spectrometers that can instantly detect fentanyl at ports of entry, post offices, and airports. It looks a little like a copying machine. It isn't, but it's like a box. The machines that cost $17,000 can instantly detect fentanyl particles in the air which is why the senator and law enforcement officers like Clinton County Sheriff Dave Favreau say getting them into the hands of those likely to come in contact with fentanyl should be a priority. To get the money to localities like Clinton County, like Plattsburgh, ASAP. We cannot wait. Senator just said that he wants to get this funding off the desk and get it into the hands of the law enforcement and the service providers, ASAP, as he put. And I think that's admirable. I think that's, that's our hope, is that by this summer we'll be able to start looking at some funding actually in hand to be able to provide training and to provide equipment necessary to help combat this problem. 